Hello, everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. Before we dive into today's kiki, which is Raquel and Tom spotted having dinner after the Vanderpump Rules reunion, I'm going to give you my thoughts on why I think they're still together and whether or not I think this is going to last. But before we dive in, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. Check out the description box down below and join our newsletter. It's free and you get free self-care content. So with that, let's dive right on in. So this is according to page six, okay? Now, we've all been watching with bated breath what's going to happen on, you know, the Vanderpump Rules reunion. As we know, it was just filmed on the 23rd. Shots were, were I don't know if I can say that on my channel. Uh, things went down. Things went down. But let's go. So this is according to page six. It says Raquel and Tom grabbed dinner together after pump reunion. Raquel and Tom are no, lo are no longer hiding in plain sight. The disgraced co-stars were spotted on a public dinner date on Thursday following the explosive season 10 Vanderpump Rules reunion taping. Raquel and Tom sat next to each other in a large booth at the Musso and Frank Grill in Hollywood, according to photos attained by TMZ on Saturday. Now, don't fret, you guys. I got those photos, too. Here they are. So as you can see... In the booth, they got some wine, they've got oysters, there's, you know, Rachel, Raquel, there's, you know, Tom over there with his narcissistic self. So they are full on on a full-fledged date, okay? Let's keep going. The lovers, whom a source recently told us still want to, quote, be together, despite the fallout from their affair, reportedly ordered a bottle of red wine and, o and oysters with her aphrodisiacs. A fellow di diner told TMZ that Raquel could be heard saying at one point during the outing, I can't believe she said that, but it is unclear who she was speaking about. They're probably talking about, you know, recapping the reunion and how they got played and how they got blasted. Girl, bye. Sit down and shut up. But let's go. The source added that although the pair did not show any PDA, they sat closely to each other and it very much looked like a couple. Raquel and Sandoval dined alone after the rest of the cast blasted them for hours during the reunion filming. The anger towards them is to be expected, an insider previously told us. Reps for Raquel and Tom did not immediately return paid six requests for comment on their dinner on their dinner date. Earlier in the evening, the former pageant queen and Tom and the most extras frontman were seen moments after the reunion wrapped, wrapped dressed in all black and smoking near their trailers. I'm going to do a separate video on that, you guys. We'll, we'll get into that, too. They appear to be having a very tense heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Fans have been speculating since the scandal broke on March 3rd whether Tom and Raquel were going to still pursue a romance despite the backlash. Okay, let's get into it, you guys. Let's get into it. So this is the thing. Do I think that they are going to stay together and live happily ever after? Absolutely not. Heck no. This is what I think is going on. Number one, Tom Sandoval has no one else. You know what I mean? Like, he literally has no one else. Right after the rap, um, the Vanderpump Rules wrapped, Tom Schwartz, who's the only person that he has other than Raquel, and he only has Tom Schwartz to his face because we're on the street. Tom Schwartz is dogging him out behind his back, but he's too cowardly or weak, as Lala would put it, to actually speak up to him to his face, okay? So he doesn't have Tom Shorts really in his corner, and then he doesn't physically have Tom Shorts, right? Because Tom Shorts, right after the reunion taping, flew back to wherever they're filming the new season of Winter House, like Colorado or somewhere like that, Vermont, somewhere around like that. So Tom Shorts is filming the new season of Winter House, but Tom Sandoval obviously is not. So he literally, physically, at this point, only has Raquel Rachel. I don't know where his bandmates are. I don't know if he has any other friends that are still rocking with him like that, at least publicly. So he has to sort of, you know, stick with her because he doesn't have anybody else. Literally, Tom Shorts flew the coop, okay? The second thing I think is going on here is they have to stay together at this point in order to justify blowing up their lives like this and hurting everybody else 
if they break up at this point, it's like, really? You did all of this just to break up the moment you had a chance to actually be together. So I do think that there is some saving face and some ego going on here. But thirdly, what I think is really going on here is I think Raquel Rachel actually drank the Kool-Aid. And I think she really is in love with Tom Sandoval. I think she really does think that they are going to get married, pop out kids, and live happily ever after, you know, um, in his overly mortgaged house. I don't know. At Shorts and Sandy. Who the hell knows, right? I think she actually believes the lie. I think she drank the Kool-Aid, and she really thinks they're going to be in a relationship. I think Tom Sandoval is now stuck between a rock and a hard place. I don't think he really is in love with her. I don't think he really wants to be with her. I think he was in it for the thrill of it. I think it's it like I think it's his MO. We saw he did it with Ariana with Kristen. Now he did it with Raquel to Ariana. I just think it's his MO. I don't think it's that he's in love with Rachel Raquel. I think that she was the person, she was low hanging fruit and she and she took the bait. But I think that he knows that if he breaks up with her now, it's going to be even worse for him because she's also claiming that, you know, she's like neurodivergent, you know, she's autistic, she is codependent, she's addicted to love, she has all anxiety, she's saying all of these, you know, in my personal opinion, very disrespectful things to the beautiful human beings that really do live with those things. I think it's very disrespectful to sort of jump on those buzzwords and to jump on those, you know, conditions that people have in order to not to take full accountability for your own actions as a grown woman. Um, but I think because she's used those buzzwords, because she said she has those things, it's going to make him look even worse if he now just drops her like a hot potato, then she can really play the victim, even though we all know she's not the victim. She can really be like, oh, my gosh, I loved him, blah, blah, blah. I think Sandoval is grasping at straws. I think he's trying to salvage any reputation, any type of face, any type of anything. That's why I think he went so hard at the reunion trying to defend his actions. You know, people like that, they don't realize that you would actually come out on top if you just said, you know what, what I did was really wrong, period. I hurt you, period, and I'm sorry, period. But they think that they can talk their way out of out of everything, that they can defend and justify. We weren't happy, we weren't having sex, and this and this and this. Well, if you weren't happy and you weren't having sex, those are reasons to break up with somebody. They're not reasons to habitually cheat on someone, particularly with this with somebody's friend, for however long you've been doing it for. You know, but he thinks he can talk his way out of thing. And it's also the hypocrisy for me. On the last episode of Vanderpump Rules, isn't he going in on Katie and Lala and Christina Kelly because uh, they're being, quote, mean to Raquel? And he's like, Raquel is still going through stuff because she just found out that, you know, Lala and James, and, uh, James hooked up, blah, blah, blah. Isn't it crazy how he's going so hard for her feelings? But yet he's defending his actions when Ariana is hurt. Not from the fact that he hooked up with somebody right when they started dating Miami girl, even though he did, but because of the disgusting long-term affair he had with um, Raquel Rachel. It's the hypocrisy for me. It's the hypocrisy for me. But I want to know what you guys think. You know, put it down below. What do you think about this? What do you think about Raquel Rachel and Tom Sandoval being spotted out on a romantic date right after the reunion? Do you think it's going to last? Or are you like me? And I'm just like, Tom Sandoval is, you know, he's, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Like baiting his time or waiting his time out. I think that he is just, going to wait it out and break up with her the moment he can cut bait without looking worse than how he already looks. I think she actually drank the Kool-Aid and in her little mind, she actually thinks they're going to be together and live happily ever after. Obviously, the situation is going to end up blowing up in both of their faces.
But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. But before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out the description box down below. Join our newsletter. It is 100% for free. So that's you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.